This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Sag placements, you're um, cross-watching for a Sagittarius. Um, yeah, keep in mind that this reading is general, not every single situation mentioned in this reading may apply to your personal situation. Please don't make any rash decisions based on what you hear from a general reading. If you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can book a reading on my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. This reading will contain some topics that you might feel are sensitive, Sagittarius. You'd rather not hear about sensitive topics. Here's your opportunity to go ahead and click off the video. Otherwise, Sagittarius, let's dive into these channel messages. Sagittarius, I have to say it, I think you might be dealing with a Scorpio. You might have Scorpio in your chart. You could be coming across a Scorpio this week. Over the next seven days, channel messages begin now. Chris, Cleo, the names Jack and James, Rachel, Devin, Laura, Ann, with Lanolin, one, two, three, moist, cybersecurity, bank statements, patrol, Ivan, Candida, or yeast infection, uh, the song Baby by Justin Bieber, or perhaps someone has baby fever, maybe, turntables, catfishing, Taekwondo, the name Aiden, the phrase I was lost, till the end of time, the name Cameron, slice o cheese, Chula Vista, duct tape, Valerie or celery, mini bag, big fat mini, Charlotte, Connecticut, I'm cuter than her, I'm an alien, eye condition, go west, Billy Bob, beat up truck or truck engine problem, another Michael, Karen and Tiffany, babysitter that's not nice to kids, age gap, um, here's my information, the name Jaden, shade and protect your eyes, peanut butter allergy slash EpiPen, call my mom, oh hi Leo, Grubhub, seek light about it, it's a spell slash spelling, idiot with the red dress, I only have three left, calorie shells, sauce, I injured my hands, but they're okay. Soapbox. Let's go to the park. Cleft lip. I just want to go home. White vans. And we're paying attention. All right, Sagittarius, let's get right into it. I did mention that there is a Scorpio that's heavily in your energy this week. Unless, Sagittarius, you have a very significant elder that may have passed. And this um, time of the year might be reminding you of that particular elder, Sagittarius. Maybe this person that passed was a Scorpio or had Scorpio in their chart. Sag is a Leo in your energy. You might have a Leo child. <clears throat> Leo. You might have children that you're looking after. Or you might be um, particularly busy. Um, yes, around this point in time, Sagittarius, this week it feels like you're overwhelmed. You're swamped with something to the point that, you know, you might feel like you really need some help. So, Sag, it might be a good idea for you to reach out to someone if you need this help um, or this support that you might be longing for. You have a Aries Pisces. Someone could be short in stature. Someone could be a smoker. I don't want to call you Pisces all of a sudden. This might be, I did say Pisces, Aries, cusp. St. Patrick's Day. Reminds me of St. Patrick's Day. So I think you might have a, uh, you might have a Pisces, Aries in your midst. A March Aries in particular. Let's see. March Pisces is what I was trying to say. Or March Aries, I guess. So you might be an Aries. Maybe you have Sag elsewhere. Let's see what's going on. There's an elder Sag that you haven't seen in a minute. This elder might be contacting you to link up with them to 
talk to them. You also have an air sign in your reading, Sagittarius. And for some reason, I want to say Gemini so bad. Corruption. We'll see what this is about. Sagittarius. It might have something to do with some people that are around you. Somebody locked up. Someone in jail. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> this elder. I mentioned a fire sign. It could be an earth sign. Or this is fire and earth. There's an elder. There's a. There's another fire sign. These might be two different people, actually. These could be two people that you might be meeting up with. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely an elder. This could be your dad. Your grandfather. Let's see. What is this about? This might be the person that might kind of pop up on you opposing so perhaps this is someone that maybe you haven't been getting along with or you haven't gotten along with in the past because let's 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 call it out overall energy in your reading is the past as if there's some type of past hurdle that you can't seem to get over with someone in particular and this week it feels like you're making a choice regarding this elder or this king of pentacles right here you're making a choice regarding this, but it seems like you might be second guessing your choices either about this situation or about a financial situation. It just seems like you're questioning yourself. You're questioning your choices. Like I said, possibly because you feel overwhelmed. Okay, so this, this is a third party. Okay, some of you, this might be a same sex couple or a, the, the, the person that we're naming off. Sagittarius, you might be talking to an earth sign but or you're talking to two different people but it feels like there's a third person that's in on the conversation like a three-way conversation that you're having with someone about someone about something in particular some type of relevant topic which we're going to dive into in a moment and figure out what this is one of the people that you're talking to they don't agree or you don't agree with what these people are saying this is something that's getting ready to happen like something is approaching Let's say a birthday, because I mentioned a Scorpio and it is Scorpio season. You could possibly be linking up with a Scorpio. This feels like this is a conversation that maybe someone is including you on about finances. Or this is a, an opposing opinion that you're having with someone and they're trying to put you in the middle of their stuff. There's somebody that's looking back on a situation, Sag. Possibly a Libra. I didn't mention an air sign. You've got justice here. There's somebody that's looking back at a situation and they're feeling regret about the way that maybe they treated you in the past. Some type of past interaction and someone is regretting the choices that they've made. For some of you, this is someone that is currently and actively regretting the fact that they may have had a third party. They cheated on you in some type of way. Or this, if this is not a cheating episode and this is a platonic situation, somebody regrets getting you caught in the middle of some type of an issue that they were going with with someone else. Making you feel awkward. Because it feels like with this person that you're encountering this week, Sagittarius, you might feel that this person is drunk. There's a Virgo. Virgo and a Cancer. You have quite a few individuals. You had a fire sign that we talked about. This could be the Aries Pisces that we talked about. You feel like this person is drama. You feel like there's one or more people that might be coming into your life. I promise you, this is not like a surprise party. This feels like this is a surprise visit. Maple for this is like a housewarming party. Here we go around the maple. I keep hearing that, but May is five, not four. So again, this is an Aries, or this is like an Aries Taurus cusp. I don't get the connection here, but I feel like this is something surrounding your house. Unless you're talking to someone, I'm, I'm, I promise you, Sash, bear with me. I'm trying to figure out what I'm seeing here. Some of you might be talking to someone about a, a living situation. Somebody might feel like they don't have any like the right type of financial footing to move forward with a financial situation. Or someone is trying to stabilize, financially stabilize 
their situation and it looks like something is up in the air right now or somebody is feeling kind of sad about it, they're feeling pessimistic that a financial situation can turn around. This is also possibly a friend of yours that may have fallen off the radar, Sagittarius that might be coming back. And once again, here is this air sign who I mentioned was possibly a Libra, but we've also got Gemini here with the lovers. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What are they trying to do? You might feel, I did say you might think this person is drama. You might feel like they're trying to start an argument with you. What's going to be brought up in this situation is the past. Like I said in the beginning, something seems like there's some type of hurdle that you might feel that you just can't seem to get over with someone in particular. If it's not with a particular person, it's like within you. I can't seem to let go of the past, the baggage that um, I feel comes alive when I'm around this person and I kind of go in my shell and get it seems like it's something of this sort. Somebody who might be a heavy drinker, Sagittarius. This might be why you're taking an issue with this person. You're really thinking a lot about something. Something is heavily on your mind. I did say it's the past. Somebody has betrayed you in the past. And it seems to be like all that you're thinking about lately. Since it's the overall energy, the past. You're doing something spiritual here. Some of you Sagis are very witchy or you're just very spiritual. There's something that you're trying to bring into your life. You're trying to manifest something and make it happen. Okay. Let me put it this way. In terms of money, finances, financial matters, if you are signing on the dotted line for something, Sagittarius, because you got a lot of financial situations that I feel like are on your mind. Maybe you're trying to make a financial decision, but if you are signing on the dotted line for something, make sure that you really investigate the situation. You really look into it because it feels like somebody is trying to hide something from you. Pull the wool over your eyes in some type of way. You will see the truth about the situation or there will be another person, a third party that may point something out to you. But it might be after the fact where you're kind of like stuck in something. But you definitely have some type of legal tie, legal situation. Okay. This might be with someone who could do. There's somebody corrupt. Something that is dark, something that is hidden. And it's about to come to the surface. Or if, the, if it has something to do with the past. This feels like this is a pattern that you're rethinking where you've had a negative experience with something and you're feeling like if you go into something again, that it's inevitable that you're going to have a negative experience again. It's some type of pattern of thought that I feel that your guides are trying to get you to break away from, really. This could really be someone coming to plant in some type of seed of doubt for you. But it just seems like there's something behind some type of mental trouble that you're going through. And your guides are really inv in inviting for some of you to investigate the hidden cause for this thought pattern having to do with the past. Because it feels like that's what you're obsessed about. Another way that I can read this is that somebody is still stuck on a particular person that they used to care about. And maybe it wasn't a mutual attraction, but it feels as though someone just cannot let someone fall away and let somebody go. And now it's become such an obsession. And the spirit guys are saying, find a way to break away from this and move on. Because it seems like maybe there's something that you want. And this other person doesn't want the same thing. They don't want the same energy. And one of you might have bad intentions. This feels like this is a single situation. Let, let me put it in terms of a single situation. Sagittarius, if you are dating someone... There might be someone, or if this is you, you're dating someone, you're interested in someone. Someone is showing someone interest, but it's only for their own personal gain. Like someone might need something, they might need a place to stay, or they might need like a financial favor. 
and they might be disguising something to look a certain way and make it seem like there's a relationship or that, that you that that's what you guys are forming but there's really a third party there's really someone else in the picture and that might be what they're hiding because it looks like Sagittarius it's like somebody thinks you're naive or they feel like you don't see like you're blind to whatever tactic they're bringing to the table and whatever tactic they're bringing to the table does not benefit you. So again, read the fine print or investigate a situation, look at it. And if something doesn't add up, Sagittarius, don't be afraid to take a step back. But let me repeat it for emphasis. If you're signing something, Sagittarius, something is not what it seems. Somebody thinks you're kind of like naive enough to not really see what's going on. That pay no attention to the man behind the counter, the man behind the curtain type of situation. Maybe the Wizard of Oz has some type of connection with you. Maybe you like that movie or somebody that you know does. Especially if this has something to do with a financial time. There's a Leo that shows up in your reading. So there could be a Leo that you might be visiting with. Mm -hmm. Some of you that you're a same-sex couple. Or this is somebody that might have an opposing view of someone that has the same sex that is in a same-sex relationship. Another way that I'm seeing this, okay, so if someone is trying to hide something from you, Sagittarius, this could be that somebody might be in a heterosexual relationship but could be cheating with someone of the same sex like they have this person on the side but they don't want you to know about it Sagittarius even if it's not somebody of the same sex but for some of you that's confirmation for somebody out there unless you are just in a same sex relationship then that is what it is Okay, let's see what's going on at work. You got the devil. And set this in a past reading or set this in the last reading that I did. I don't remember what sign it was. Maybe it was Virgo. And I was saying in that reading that Capricorn is showing up in everybody's reading. So there might be a particular Capricorn that's real busy in everybody's energy. And if it's not a literal person, then it's, it, it's, it's, it's the devil is lurking in the form of a lot of different things. It could be showing up in your life as, as self-doubt. But it could, it feels like in this, the context has something to do with someone's intentions. I mentioned a Virgo, that I saw that in the Virgo reading, and here would be the Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Let's see what's going on at work. Let's see what's going on with your money because that's definitely emphasized in your reading. That might be what you're feeling overwhelmed about or that might be who you're, you're arguing with someone about maybe the way that somebody is spending money because it could be that you, you feel like somebody has gotten some type of ill-gotten gains. Somebody has done something really corrupt to get to a certain level or some type of um, pinnacle in their career. It feels like Sagittarius, I'm looking for a particular deck. Let me see what's going on with your money. Yeah, somebody that you haven't had a conversation with in a minute, somebody's following up with you or it's time to follow up with someone Sagittarius. So if you have a job interview coming up, well, this is just you. Maybe you're just a well-dressed individual. It seems like there's some type of occasion. Okay. All right. It seems like some of you, Sagis, what you're overthinking, especially since it's connected to finances, it might be that maybe you feel like it's time to move on from a job. Because deep down inside, you might feel like, okay, this is not, like there's some type of inner conflict about something. Especially if you feel like you're doing something corrupt to get money and it just, you're torn inside about it. Inner truth. Like you're like, mm -mm. this isn't the way that I really want to go about. 
this type of thing. You know what I mean? There's something within you that's incongruent. Like you're arguing with yourself about something. Or this is somebody around you. It seems like Sagittarius, you work in a very competitive market. And you might work around a lot of greedy individuals. These might be people that are corrupt. And people, if it's not you, these would be people that you work around. And you're questioning their integrity. Because you feel like it's just a, a, an industry full of greed. Right? Everybody's after the same goal. Money. You know, they say money makes the world go round. But there's just something different about this job that you work in for some of you. Sagittarius is it either this is something that you're dealing with internally or you're witnessing this advancing that's what I mean somebody might be advancing using corrupt means to get to a higher level with their financial situation some type of financial status but they're doing it in a very corrupt way and it's because somebody feels the heat of competition. That's what this feels like. You work in a very competitive market. And it just seems like there are some people that, thank you, spirit guides, integrity. May have something to do with an Aries or a Leo. You got a Leo here. The hanged man. There might be some people that are trying to keep you from advancing. The Sagittarius, maybe you might feel that you're too trusting of people you know what i mean like somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes i mean that's what this looks like to me about something increasing it's like somebody wants to make sure that so that's what you're feeling overwhelmed about you're swamped. You have a lot on your plate this week increasing. This is like a battle. I'm hearing battle of the bulge. So maybe this is some type of weight fluctuation or you're watching somebody and their, their, their weight is fluctuating. Yeah, it has something to do with what somebody's eating. This is you stress eating possibly. I don't know. It seems like somebody is trying to stab you in the back or somebody will go out of their way to stab the next person in their back over money honestly what this seems like is that maybe you're questioning whether or not this is the right job for you or if this is something that you want to remain in because it seems like yeah decreasing comes out again so it does feel like there's some type of a cash flow issue here and it's causing you to maybe have some self-doubts i think some of you said you are um questioning your own abilities it's either that like you don't feel like you're good enough in some type of way or this is a child around you that might feel this way they're struggling with identity issues and self-esteem issues i don't know maybe you're just very conscientious of your weight or somebody around them it's, it seems like somebody is concerned about their image and the way that they look unless this is like the type of industry that you're in i don't know but something has you feeling like you want to retreat like you just want to pull away like you're not wanting to be there unless this is just something that's happening for you at home okay you might have some type of home issues yeah it seems like you're struggling with something maybe somebody in the household doesn't feel well and maybe that's why your financial situation may have been decreasing in some type of way yes thank you spirit guys battle of the bulge that's what i feel like somebody in your situation maybe you might this might be people at your job but since we're talking about corruption maybe you feel like people are laughing at you it just seems like you're very self-conscious or someone around you is keep that in mind if i'm not talking about you then this is someone around you i think you are i think part of you wants to leave this but maybe you feel like I think part of you does like you want to either you want to separate yourself from certain individuals at work I mean part of you is thinking you know what it's time to leave like you see the truth it is time to leave a particular situation because it feels like you're not happy for some of you it's a relationship that you're not happy and you're dealing with someone you're feeling like 
um, competition with this person. Like someone, you're feeling like you have to compete maybe with this person's job or compete with other people to keep this person's attention, the person that you're supposed to be in a relationship with. Because it seems like you might be, some of you might be self-conscious because of a relationship. Maybe because someone is putting you down or someone is constantly finding fault with you. If it's not you doing this to yourself, it could have been a past person. And that information or, or that thought process is still with you. This could be what's keeping you from, for some of you singles, from getting, trying again with love. But either way, I said that to say this, Sagittarius, it's either work or home life. You might decide that you want to cut something off and, and leave to see whether or not something better is out there for you. If this is, let's say, let's put it in terms of you owning your own business and maybe things have slowed down. You've noticed that more and more people are coming into the industry, the competition is increasing and thank you. You are. There's some type of gathering coming up. But I feel like I said you're you're you're, you're dressing well for you trying to impress someone in particular. This could be a date. But that's exactly what this is. Oh okay, brightness hidden. Someone is trying to convince you that maybe you're not good enough. It just seems like it's something such as this. This could be an adult doing this with a child. Anyway, it just seems like maybe you don't see your potential, know your potential. Sagittarius, or this is someone around you. Maybe you feel like it's hidden amongst the competition. A part of you, like I said, you might be questioning whether or not there's really growth in this industry that you're in. And maybe you're feeling like you're on your last leg. And maybe this week you might, or the past weeks, maybe you feel like you've been dealing with people that don't really like you. Like you're having some issues with the people that you're working with. And maybe it's the not knowing of things that is causing you to feel like you're unsure of yourself. Or there is just simply something that you don't know the spirit guides are bringing to light for you. But deep, this would be something deep down inside you did know. Or that you do know and then you'll get confirmation within this next seven days that confirms something for you. And it will help you to move forward in, in some type of way into a new start. I was mentioning starting your own business or you're in a very, you do own your own business and there's is, is in a very competitive job market and maybe you feel like because more and more people are coming in, you know, things are not really, finances are not really the way that they want, that they are, that, they, that you would like them to be. Maybe there's been some type of a layoff or maybe something of this sort. It looks like you're clenching to your money, like you're you're afraid to spend money. The 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 money that you have, that's um, the little the little bit of resources that you feel like you do have, it feels like you're holding on to it. But it honestly feels like there's something that could potentially change, or things might be beginning to speed up for you. For some of you, it's that you may leave a situation in order to maybe gain a new opportunity someplace. And this is where things speed up for you. Or for others of you, it's you might need to hold on just a little bit longer and you might see things begin to build and, and um, work out for you. It just might mean that for a short period of time, a short spurt in time, which might feel like an eternity for you, things will end up getting better. And things will pick up again. This feels like it might be in terms of a, the holiday. Yeah, there's some type of a job interview that I feel is coming in for you. Sagittarius. Unless this is you going to the bank, possibly getting a loan. Some of you might be getting ready to graduate. It could be that you might be talking to a counselor. This could be about financial aid, possibly. Or about what to do with your classes. Mm -hmm. If this has something to do with paperwork and you're signing something Sagittarius, remember, it might be that you don't see something. And like I said, someone might be pointing something out to you about a document, a paperwork, something, something that you've overlooked. And this is some paperwork that is attached to your finances. It's like something is legally binding.
It looks like it's something important. It could be like a deed to a house, but it's connected to your stability in some type of way. Or maybe it's time to get some type of legal advice. Hey, Ice Queen Empress. I appreciate you so much. Hi, Shine Your Light. Okay, this feels like you're, this has something to do with something that you're doing. It could be an online business. But whatever the case happens to be, oh, for some of you, is that you're discovering that somebody is, <laughs> you got a partner that's trying to hide from you that they're screwing this one and that one and the other one. The hermit, it will possibly be a Virgo. See, there's something that you are signing, Sagittarius. Please don't have like signers regret. You might need to do some research into a situation, maybe online before. Um, she's got glasses right here. So this might be somebody could be making a spectacle. Like somebody could be making a scene of something here. But this is also, it might be necessary for you to look into something. Someone is coming in to give you some type of guidance. Or someone is coming in to talk to you about something. This might be some of the last person that you would ever suspect. It's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Scorpio is the highlighted sign here. If there's something going on with your car, your vehicle, Sagittarius, you might want to put some money on the side, put some money away, or you might have to dig into your savings to maybe put in some repairs. Get your car towed or something like that, unless you're behind in bills since we're seeing decreasing. Maybe some bills didn't get paid earlier this month. And maybe your spirit guides are saying, Sagittarius, maybe look into your overspending. Are there ways that maybe you can kind of cut certain things out? Because it could be that you're overindulging in something. Um, and maybe something could be eliminated. And it might be some junk food, Sagittarius. If you do have a flexible job, you might decide this week that you want to work from home. Maybe that's what you're retreating from. Maybe you're like, you know what? I just want to work autonomously. I don't want to work around a lot of people because people bring a lot of drama. That's what this feels like. Like you want to work autonomously. You don't want to work around other people because you have people phobia or people have shown, shown you their true color. Somebody really burned you bad in the past, Sagittarius. And so it's like, mm, I'm good. I, I want, I'd rather just do my own thing and not really spend a lot of time around people. Um, singles. I mentioned something to you earlier. I think someone is trying to impress you, Sagittarius. I think that there is someone, possibly a Scorpio with Earth in their chart, that might be approaching you. This could be someone new for some of you, because I did say there's a new path that you might be exploring. It could definitely be in the world of dating. But for some of you, since we're talking about the past, this could be that someone from your past is thinking about coming back and reconnecting with you. Now, this wouldn't, the scenario that I'm seeing in this reading, it wouldn't have been a pleasant type of past with this person. This feels like this is someone that did try to trick you in some type of way, had you in all kinds of third parties, may have used you financially for your, your money or for your living situation in some type of way. It feels like it would be that type of situation where you were vulnerable, you allowed yourself to let your guard down and someone tried to benefit off of you in some type of way, Sagittarius, is the situation that I'm seeing. Somebody corrupt, right? <laughs> Card said corruption and I ended up, thank you. Maybe you feel like you lost control over something or you don't feel like you have control. You don't feel like you have a grasp over something in your life. Corruption, somebody came to you for the wrong reasons right for some of you like i said it's due to a bad situation that you had in the past a bad dating history that has you feeling like everybody that comes along has the wrong motive for some of you that's true but for others of you there is someone from your past that could be coming back with the same type of energy or someone could actually be married someone could paint a picture for you that they're committed sagittarius singles for those of you who are getting to know someone and they become hesitant. You yourself are committed to this situation, but they're not. They don't have the same intention as you. Like I said, it's somebody that fools around. And you wouldn't know that in the beginning because they're going to paint 
the perfect picture for you. But in the end, you'll see it for yourself who this person really was and what their intentions really were. It's just in the beginning, you may have had no idea. And this might cause you to kind of go into your shell because it feels like you have a very vibrant, loving spirit, Sagittarius. And it just feels like somebody could come around and kind of corrupt that for you and cause you to just kind of shut down and be afraid to be vulnerable and try again with love. Because it looks like you want companionship, Sagittarius. Those of you who are single, it just feels like your guard is up so high. And maybe you feel like the last relationship that you were in, it put you through so much that you had to just push through it. And now you're at the point in your life where you're deciding, you know, is this really, um, am I emotionally fit and ready for a relationship again? Because it, like I said, either you're interest in, interested in someone and someone might be showing you that they're interested. If this is you and you're making a decision about maybe two people, Sagittarius and people that are in your energy, because it looks like people are attracted to you either um, romantically, and, but definitely professionally for some of you. You might be deciding whether or not, um, you know, who might be the best option. Or, like I said, whether or not you really just want to um, date at all. I did say the title has something to do with were you expecting visitors? I think you might be shocked. There's someone that you haven't seen in a minute. This might have been the last person on earth that you thought that pop up in your energy. The devil. Because I said the devil's been popping up in everybody's reading lately. There hasn't been one zodiac that I've done where I haven't seen the devil. So... There might be someone that is literally a Capricorn or someone that has shown you their corrupt side. Somebody might be messaging you this week. Either they're literally showing up and talking to you because they don't have any way of getting into contact with you, Sagittarius, because you may have blocked them. You may have blocked them energetically because I'm going to get to that next. Spiritually, because it looks like there's someone that you may need to block out of your energy. Um, somebody might be reaching you, reaching out to you, communicating with you, maybe you've moved, Sagittarius. This could be a phone call from someone that you least expected and you might be kind of shocked to hear from this person again, Sagittarius. Maybe you're not sure what's next, but it just seems like you might be a little bit startled or taken aback that you hear from this person or kind of see them again or that they pop up in your energy. And this might have been a Taurus. It seems like there's someone that you've been missing for a while. Spiritually. I think something is going on spiritually. I think spiritually, Sagittarius, you might be having a lot of active dreams lately. Maybe you're not someone that remembers your dreams all the time. But this week, it feels like you might be. Dream recall. Um... I think that you are. You have a lot of active dreaming this week. It might be in your dream state or an altered state like meditation where you might see some type of sign. This isn't for every Sagittarius, but it's a confirmation for someone. For some of you Saggies, you're under spiritual attack. Following as if maybe this is someone that could have bad intentions that could be in your environment and it's not Sagittarius that you don't have street smarts because I think that you do. I think that there's something that is distracting you while you're out and that could be literally in your environment. But I feel like this is more spiritual than anything. Yeah, there's definitely someone trying to conceal something from you, but I feel like something could be going on online really is what this feels like. Somebody is constantly bombarding you with negative energy, Sagittarius. Especially if you are online. And it seems like your guides are showing you something in your dream state that confirms something for you. Because it feels like spiritually you've been trying to combat something. You've got to have Virgo in your child, Sag, possibly. Or you have a Virgo that's around you. The devil, once again... Well, there's a candle here. 
And you got spirit guides in the background or spirits. I, I did I say at the beginning you're very witchy, Sagittarius, or you're just very spiritual? I think you're under spiritual attack. Ten of Swords. I promise you, here it is once again. In every card, you've got three cards where someone is trying to blindfold you. Like someone does not want you to see something, Sagittarius, or someone might feel that this is what you're doing. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is you might see something. You might get clarity about your situation and about why things have been a bit challenging for you. Things have been feeling like they've been an uphill battle or there's been some type of domino effect, chain reaction, okay? And you might get to see why. It seems like your spirit guides might be trying to either show someone's intentions about you, like their intentions toward you, which is to hide your brightness in some type of way. It just seems like somebody wants to keep you from surpassing them in some type of way, Sagittarius. So they might be sending some type of spiritual attack on you. You're going to see what you need to see, but this feels like this is somebody who has to be attacking you in your dreams. Or you see something that is just really unnerving in your dream state this week. But whatever you see, there's a flip side to it. There's a positive spin on it. Whatever you see, it feels like you are you have the ability to be able to use that information to help you get out of something. It gives you some type of integ integrity. I meant to say clarity. But it may have something to do with someone's integrity or their intentions around you. It seems like somebody is all about advancing themselves to keep you down in some type of way. Or there's some type of Sagittarius is doing this to you. And here's the confirmation that it's that Sag. Oh, random side note. One last thing that I see is that there could be some money that you maybe you didn't expect would arrive. Sagittarius, some type of financial disbursement. And it might come through this week. It might help you out in a pinch, especially if you got something going on with your car. You have some type of car trouble. You might need to take your car to the mechanic, Sagittarius. Or it might need some type of, it might have some type of damage on it. People in harmony. Some people want to recognize, rec, recognize. that's interesting, reconcile with you. Maybe these are people, like I said, that you've had opposing opinions with. Maybe they're trying to come back and work it out with you. This week, there could be some type of an injury. Someone could be limping, um, sag, stubbing your toe. Got some type of toe injury, Sagittarius, is what I'm feeling. Anyway, the, I said all of that to say this. You start off the week, it feels like feeling a bit pessimistic. It feels like life, you, like you don't have control over your circumstances. By the end of the seven days, it seems like you're able to get centered. It's possibly because circumstances kind of settle down for you or you find a way to come to terms with things and so that you can think clearly because it feels like you might not be thinking from a clear state of mind because you're overwhelmed by a lot of things that are happening for you either in the beginning of the, the seven days or this is like a spillover from last week. But keep your mind straight, Sagittarius. It feels like you can get through something. It's just you might have to be. You got this card that says pushing upward. You might just have to kind of like push through this. And this could be like some type of illness or some type of depression that somebody is in, Sagittarius. If this is you, maybe this is you getting the advice of this elder or somebody that um, maybe can help see you through something. Because you may be someone who's just very independent and maybe you're just trying to handle something on your own, Sagittarius. And maybe this just isn't that type of week. Because it does feel like you're retreating from someone. Oh, is this jealousy? Sagittarius, somebody might think you're real cute. That was one of the channel messages, right? If one of the channel messages was, I'm cuter than her. It seems like it's something petty in the background, okay? That somebody is like, like they're really pressed about you, Sagittarius. All right. I feel like there's a lot of generosity. There's some gifts coming your way, unless you're going, like I said, to some type of gathering, such as a birthday party, specifically for a Scorpio. 
or maybe there's a Sag that's coming up. Maybe you're Scorpio. Not a cusp. It is a cusp. Scorpio Sag. Maybe you're a Scorpio Sag. But I'm seeing Capricorn, so somebody could be on either side of the cusp. Maybe you're a Scorpio Sagittarius Capricorn dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe this is the Scorpio. And maybe this is the elder. Yeah, there's an elder that might give you a, a brighter outlook on something that you're really going through. All right, Sagittarius Nation, this one concludes your seven day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. If you'd like to book a personal, head over to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. I do have a um, 30 minute same day phone reading sale. I do still have slots available for tomorrow if you'd like to get on the, in on that sale. Angelicascensionstarot.com is where you can book. Thank you, Sagittarius, for tuning in this week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a peaceful and blessed week, Sag. Peace out.